Hey, my name is Jonathan, and you're awesome, and I love you. And uh, doing this vlog in the middle of a field, because I love fields, and actually fields really turn me on, makes me feel really horny being out here, because there's so much eroticism to fields and woods and trees and all that. At least for me, because I'm like an earth cookie. Um, I should probably not say that for a vlog like this. But I wanted to explain to Protestants um, our understanding as Orthodox Christians what it, what apostolic tradition is. Because, like, if you're an evangelical Christian, you're a Protestant Christian of whatever background or denomination, we as Orthodox Christians will tell you that the Bible is just a book. Okay, it's not the final authority for the church. The final authority for the church is apostolic tradi tradition. In fact, we gave you the Bible. Like the Bible wasn't uh, didn't come about until like the the third century. It was like just a bunch of letters writ written by the apostles and all that. The Bible is just a book. Okay, it's only a book. It's not the final authority for the church. The final authority of the church is the Holy Spirit as expressed through apostolic tradition within the Holy Apostolic Orthodox Church. What apostolic tradition is, is, let me explain it this, like, explain it this way. Um, Mary, the Theotokos, Mary, the mother of God, was the mother of God. Obviously, Jesus is God. Jesus is fully God, fully man. So obviously, Mary is the mother of God. Obviously. You're really not a Christian if you don't believe that. <laughs> and um, Mary gave birth to a human being. Mary did not give birth to a book. Mary gave birth to a human being. That is our understanding of apostolic tradition. Mary, uh, and God did not, when God came, because we say as Orthodox Christians, God became humanity so that humanity could become God. It's not about um, this form of legalism, either saying the sinner's prayer or doing good works. It's about union with God. That is what salvation is all about, a relationship with God, as even evangelical Christians say. So if we, um, we understand in the full way what relationship with God is. So, like, God did not come to earth to become a book, okay? He came to earth to become a human being. And after Jesus Christ, like, for two hours the other, yesterday, I was talking to this guy, and there, for, first of all, there's no sense um, arguing religion, because he argued with me, but I was a grasshopper. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, shit, it bit me. <laughs> grasshopper on the camera. I hope you didn't see that. He's trying to smile and say hi. Grasshoppers are cute. Grasshoppers turn me on too. Make me horny. So, like, yeah, there's no sense arguing about religion because, like, he said I was going a circular manner. I would, my argument was circular because he said quoting Bible verses and I was saying, well, the inter I told him the interpretation of the Bible has a greater authority than the Bible itself. And your interpretation, I told him, is not based on tradition, it's based on his own tradition. Because when you read the Bible, um, it's not just self-interpretive coming out of the blue. Um, the, you are reading the Bible. You are translating the Bible based on your tradition. That's a, an honest understanding of religion. Religion itself is not based on a book. All religions are not based on books. Even if, even Islam, which is you know because Protestantism is the greatest form. Protestant Protestant. Christianity is kind of like Islam, basically, because they say, you know, God gave a holy book. Um, instead of giving, him, giving himself to humanity, God gave a book. So, like, Protestant is like, Protestantism is a lot like Islam, basically. But even Islam, and all religions that are based on people of the book, whatever, all religions are based on tradition, not on a book. A tradition of how you interpret that holy book, a tradition of... Um, norms. I mean, that's sociologically honest of what religion is. So, like, you interpreting the Bible as a Protestant Christian, your interpretation is coming from the tradition of how to interpret the Bible, the Protestant traditions of how to interpret the Bible. For example, when Jesus Christ said, unless you eat of my body and drink of my blood, you have no life in you. 
and your tradition as a Protestant Christian, you interpret that as it's only figurative, as if Jesus Christ was a Gnostic, because if you say Jesus Christ only meant that figuratively, then that's a Gnostic, in other words, a heretical understanding, heretical interpretation of Scripture. Because when Jesus Christ said, unless you eat of my body and drink of my blood, you have no life in you, Jesus Christ meant that literally. And that interpretation, the literal interpretation, is interpreted through tradition. Tradition of the, for the church. So, like, when Jesus Christ died and he went to hell, because the same guy he was talking to, he said, well, God did not go to hell, even though I was reading in Ephesians this morning, of how um, even St. Paul says, you know, God went to hell. God filled hell with his glory. Like, he ascended, as it says in Ephesians, as St. Paul says, Jesus Christ ascended from the heights, and went down to lower parts of the earth, went down to hell. God filled hell with his glory. It's a fundamental aspect of Orthodox Christianity. So, like, yeah, I was trying to say, so after Jesus Christ, like, a book was not crucified to the cross. Okay, a human being was crucified to the cross. And when Jesus Christ resurrected, when he came out of the tomb, um, he did not give his apostles a book. Like, he came back from hell and his body was resurrected and he said, here guys, here's a book. <laughs> he did not, Jesus Christ did not do that. He, before he ascended into heaven, he breathed on the you know, 12 apostles and gave them authority. Um, in Matthew 28, Jesus Christ gave his authority to the church, gave his authority to the 12 apostles, did not give his authority to a book. Um, I mean, that's Muhammad you know, gave the, the the founder of Islam, Muhammad, gave his people a book. Okay, so yeah, they believe it's a holy book from God. The Quran is from God, literally, to them. But Jesus Christ did not give a book to the twelve apostles. He gave himself. He gave him the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was given corporately, more than than individually. The, the, the Holy Spirit was given corporately first, and only individually second. So like. That's all I wanted to say is that uh, I wanted Orthodox, I wanted Protestant Christians to understand. And, and like Protestants will say we're at, we're at a cult or, or whatever. Like you're a cult if you say that people outside of your religion are going to hell. Okay? And we don't say that as Orthodox Christians. We don't say people outside the Orthodox Church are going to hell. We don't say Buddhists and Muslims and Jews are going to hell. We don't say that. But you as a Protestant Christian do. So, like, who's, which one's the cult here? <laughs> um, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to help you understand what we mean by apostolic tradition. It's not like traditions from men. It's traditions from God. Um, God came to earth to save us from the Bible. Jesus basically saved us from man's traditions by giving us God's traditions as found in apostolic tradition. So... Um, that's all I wanted to say, and I love you so much, and you're truly an awesome person, and Jesus loves you too. Alright, bye.